Bard adjustments. Right. Bard got adjusted in that now he is broken. Bright buffed his max chime stacks from 5 to 10 and increased the chime duration from 7 seconds to 20 seconds. They also changed his W so it can now stack up to 2 charges but they increased the charge time of the stack while cutting the time it takes to charge to a full heal. The percent movement speed is now scaling from 30% flat and it has an AP ratio. These changes were pretty ridiculous. Two challenger players that play a lot of Bard were very vocal about how these changes would make him broken. You know it's bad when challenger players express disapproval of the changes despite their main champs getting buffed. Rel got another deserved nerf where they nerfed the movement speed on her E. Senna was buffed in that they removed the crit strike damage reduction from her passive and the W now applies passive to all the enemies in the AoE. Rush got a buff where they increased the shield strength of his W by increasing the scaling of souls from 1.5 to 2. That covers all the support changes in 13.18, here's my support tier list. Engage is still the best but I think there's a lot of diversity in the A tier class. Honestly I'm a pretty big fan of the current meta because it feels like there's a decent amount of balance amongst all the different classes of support. I'll be covering all champs in A and above starting with Nico. I had her in B for the longest time in my tier list, but I feel like she has a lot of potential that hasn't been fully utilized. She has a lot of unique, underused mechanics that I believe, if applied to its fullest, can make her very hard to deal with. Nico is a pretty popular mid laner, so she's a great blind slash flex pick, and she's also a great counter to hook champs. If you're good with her W, you'll never get hit with any hooks because your clone will block them. Out of all the mage supports, Zyra is the best, landing her a spot in A. The buff she received in 13.14 was really good for her and fixed a lot of her clunkiness. She has the ability to hard bully lanes and to be able to solo carry games. Zyra is not the best blind pick as she has some pretty tough matchups and if you fall behind on her or any mage you become pretty useless. Generally mages aren't high tier for this reason but I feel like when she does have that good matchup she can pop off very hard. Alistar is one of the most reliable supports due to his guaranteed CC and his ability to tank. He does very well into a lot of the hook slash engage class but his short range makes him weak in a lot of the ranged matchups. Unlike Zyra, Alistar is useful at all points of the game ahead or behind but he gets outskilled very hard at the late late game. Alistar got a bit weaker after they nerfed Glacial in 13.15 and even Shroud in 13.17, but he is still a solid pick. Pike is the most snowball support and plays a feast or famine playstyle. If he is played into a good matchup, which is most of the range supports, he can snowball the game out of control very fast. On the flip side, if he plays into a bad matchup and falls behind, he becomes very weak. I think Pike will always be pretty high tier because of the way his kit is designed to be able to pop off hard. Sona is the enchanter that scales the hardest. She has a very weak early game, but if you manage to go even in lane or win, you will win the game. You probably want to pick her as a counter because she has a lot of bad matchups. There's not a lot of opportunities where you have a favorable matchup because engaged champs are currently the best blind. Soraka is very similar to Sona in that she is a strong scaling enchanter. Soraka doesn't scale as hard as Sona, but she is a lot more useful earlier. Her kit has a lot more utility to deal with more situations, but like Sona, I would still not blind pick her. Since engage is meta, Janna will be meta because she's the best disengage support. She does very well into a lot of the engage meta champs, but she is still not the best blind. Janna does a good job at neutralizing a lot of lanes, but it's problematic when she has to go against supports that are ranged and outscale her. I would recommend picking her more as a counter because she can make a matchup or comp unplayable for the enemy. Like Janna, Poppy's support is meta because she counters engage supports hard. I always say this, but I think Poppy is one of the most underrated supports that people should be playing. Everyone expects Poppy to be picked as jungle or top, so she's a great blind slash flex pick. In this meta, everyone has a dash, so she tends to do well in a lot of drafts. Poppy has the same problem as Alistar in that her ability range is short, but I think she's slightly better. Tarek is a hard counter to a lot of the hook slash engage meta champs. While he does get countered by range supports, I have him high on the list because it's engage meta and a lot of players like to pick them blind. He functions very similarly to Braum in that he should be picked as a counter, but unlike Braum, he fits in a lot more drafts. Tarek should not be picked blind as he heavily relies on the enemy team comp to do well. After Rail's movement speed got nerfed, I moved her down from an S to an A, but she is still a very strong champion. She's gotten a lot of well-deserved consecutive nerfs in these past patches, and it's pretty crazy even after all of this, she is still pretty OP. Rel provides a lot of kill pressure in lane and has the ability to make a game-winning play in teamfights. Her playstyle is a bit one-dimensional in that she can only really go in, so she has a decent amount of counters. Not the greatest blind pick, but not the worst either. Starting off with S tier, we have Blitzcrank. He got some big adjustments in 13.17 that made him a lot stronger overall and fixed his mana problems. Blitz used to struggle against most engaged supports, but with his increased stats, he can skirmish a lot better into them. Like all hook champs, he counters most ranged supports. Blitz is usually always high tier because he is relevant all game, ahead or behind. All he needs to do is land that one game winning hook. Sun buffs this patch made her way over tune, jumping her from A to S. She was already strong before, but with the crit strike damage increase and the new effect on her W, she is OP. If you give her a free lane, she has the ability to 1v9 as she infinitely scales and has the ability to carry on a support budget. Senna is a great pocket pick to have as she counters most enchanters and if your team is lacking AD, she can fill that role. I would not recommend picking her blind as she struggles against hook champs. Thresh's buff to his lantern might not seem that big, but it was pretty nice. I've had Thresh and S for most of my tier lists in CC 
Season 13 because I feel like he is the best support but is gated by how difficult he is. He has everything you want in a support. All of his abilities can be used offensively and defensively giving him the ability to deal with all situations. Because of this, he is one of the best blind champs and will fit into almost all team comps. Rakan has been very strong for a lot of Season 13 and currently just feels very overtuned. His strengths lie in his movement where he is able to outmaneuver his opponent and make big plays. I think the reason why he is currently really strong is because of his heal. You can be terrible at laning and it won't matter because if you land 2 or 3 Qs, you can just get back to full health. He is a good blind strictly because of how OP he is. I'm surprised he has not seen any nerfs as he is one of the highest win rates every patch with a lot of games. Finally at the top, I have Brad. He was already so good, but after the buffs, he is broken. His roams are unmatched, giving him lots of control over the map. He has the ability to make game winning plays, but like Thresh, he is gated by how difficult he is. It takes a while to be able to play Bard because he's unlike any other support. It's actually crazy that his win rate is already super high this patch, even with it being pulled down by people trying him out. I'm pretty confident he will see nerfs very fast as he is next level broken. That concludes my tier list. Good luck out there, summoners.